So I'm Betul Marzouk, a communication biologist, and I'll be talking about peer code review in academic journals. So over the last couple of years, we did see more interest in code review in academic journals, but it's not yet required by the majority of journals. And we do realize how code review profoundly affect the sustainability of the code, especially because most academic software and computational methods is usually developed by individuals, not a team. So it does add to the quality of the final code, it does improve the reusability, but most importantly, it's a learning opportunity and it does foster knowledge sharing. And this cycle on the left is usually scientists from the growing research culture who are left behind. Scientists from the global south who want to embrace open science practices but have no resources to do so. And code review is one of these many things that even researchers working in the global north never get taught formally. So one thing we are doing this year, and by we, I mean the Open Science Community Saudi Arabia, we work into it building learning materials which teach and train the practices of code review in Arabic. It's also part of our initiative to adopt open science in the Middle East. And parallel work is also done by the code review community working group to develop how to guide for code review in English. However, training is not the only way to improve code review. We should find ways of connecting the cycle. This is not only to increase the also to increase the number of available reviewers, which is the most painful and challenging part for the academic journals. So established journals should make an effort to communicate their standards to scientists and develop a research culture. And if you find this topic interesting or you have any suggestion, please come and have a chat. I'm also available in my email on Twitter. And thank you, everyone.